Hello guys. What you just saw in the thumbnail is not a clickbait. I honestly made around $300 in just 45 minutes. That's 23,500 rupees to be exact. If you are curious to know how, watch this video till the end. So I made this money via bug bounty. Just in case if you are still in a lockdown and don't know what bug bounty is, let me explain. Some companies have products or applications that have millions of users along with their confidential information. Now, there are some malicious hackers are trying to steal this information to make some money. Imagine one of the application has credit card information of users. Then it would be a huge impact, right? In order to prevent this, these companies have to invest millions of dollars to improve their security. The best alternative for these companies to improve their security would be bug bounty programs. It is nothing but an open challenge by these companies to improve their security. Thousands of ethical hackers would participate in these contests and try to find vulnerabilities or loopholes in their system. If they find any vulnerabilities in their application, then they will disclose this information to their security team. The company will then fix this bug and give some money in return for their contribution. This saves the company millions of dollars. Bug bounty programs is one of the best ways for ethical hackers to make some money. To get an idea about how lucrative this field is, few months back, I read an article where a college student was paid around $47,000 by Apple for reporting a security vulnerability in their system. It just took him hardly 30 minutes to find that bug. That's around 36 lakh Indian rupees. Now let's come back to my story. Couple of months back, when I was doing an internship in Chennai, for some reasons, I was supposed to travel to my hometown. So I was looking for a bus ticket on redbus.in. The ticket price was around 1300 rupees for a single seat and around 1200 rupees for a double seat. I chose the 1200 rupees ticket. I know I was being stingy, but still I decided to save that 100 rupees. Little did I know is that this decision is going to bring me hundreds of dollars which I am going to talk about in the later part of this video. So I boarded the bus from Chennai around 10 pm. I went to my seat and made myself comfortable. The bus started moving and after a few stops, the other guy stepped in. He was sleeping next to me and honestly, I couldn't sleep that night because he was snoring all night and disturbing me. So after a sleepless night, I reached my hometown. I spent two days there and it's time to return back to Chennai. This time, I was little worried to book the double bed. But at the same time, I don't want to pay the extra 100 rupees. That's when I got an idea. If you see, whenever we book seats in these online platforms, there is something called lock-in period. If you choose your seat and move to the payment page, that seat will be locked for some period of time. This is to prevent multiple users from booking the same seat. Even if you didn't complete the payment and close the app, the seat will be still locked till the lock-in period ends before it is made available to others. I believe some of you guys might have noticed that. Since I am a developer myself, I got a rough guess about how this mechanism works. When an user chooses a seat and navigate to the payment page, ideally, an API request should be made from the client to the server. In case if you don't have any idea about what I am talking, check out these videos. Now this request should be ideally responsible for the locking of the seat. Now what I thought is, if I can capture this request and resend it at regular intervals, then I can keep the seat locked forever. So in layman terms, if I book a single seat and prevent the users from booking the other seat, then technically I can travel freely in two seats just for paying a single seat without any disturbance. That's amazing, right? But not exactly. That is a twist. Even if I lock the other seat forever, those greedy conductors would pick up someone from the roads who are waiting for a bus. So technically the other seat will always be filled. But still, it was a great idea. So I tested my hypothesis on the Red Bus website and luckily it worked. Most websites might have missed this edge case. So I tested the same bug in Make My Trip as well and it worked again. Then I tested this again in Clear Trip. No surprise, it worked again. 
Then I did some research and found their security emails. And then I dropped a message saying that I had found a vulnerability in their website. In few days, I received an Amazon voucher worth 10,000 rupees from Redbus and a cash price worth 13,500 rupees from Make My Trip after tax deductions. But sadly, Clear Trip didn't accept my report. But the funniest part is, they claimed that it is a feature and not a bug. <laughs> Anyways, I had posted a detailed write-up about this bug on Medium. Check out the link in the description. If you are interested in learning more about bug bounties, check out this playlist. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to know how I started with bug bounties or hacking, like this video and leave a comment below. If this video crosses 1000 likes, then I shall upload a dedicated video on how I started with bug bounty. Until then, stay tuned.